collection. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make your videos more unique using ultra keying in Adobe Premiere Pro. And at the end of the video, I will show you a little example video that I have made so you can get a better understanding on how you can do this in a cool, fun way to give some cool transitions and effects to your skate videos, uh, rollerblade videos, whatever kind of videos that you want. <laughs> Scooter videos, BMX videos, you can use it to give it a nice little creative advantage over other people. That being said, let's get over onto the laptop and I will show you how this is done. Let's go ahead and grab a clip, any kind of clip that you want. Okay, I'm gonna use this clip here. This is just like a little B-roll clip that I used in my Sony VX700 video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab it and I'm just gonna drag it onto the timeline. So if you don't know what ultra keying or ultra key is actually supposed to be used for, it's for using it in uh, green screen applications. So people who are doing videos with a green screen behind them, what it does is it will take any kind of color and it will turn that color in your video into a green screen. So it'll kind of turn like a, like a black color. And then you can actually add a picture or a video um, that is kind of like a layover and everything in that black area will be a kind of a green screen effect. So you can see how that would probably make your video into a very unique look Looking, creative looking video. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up actually and go ahead and cut it and then I will just ripple delete and I'm gonna grab another clip just to kind of make it a little bit longer for you. Yeah so I'm gonna use this clip as well. Okay so once you have your clips lined out on your timeline that you want you're gonna go ahead and go over to effects wherever you have your effects little tab at. Go ahead and go into the little search bar and put in ultra key. You'll see the ultra key pops up right here and you'll drag it and drop it onto your uh, video clip that you want. And now it's ready to be uh, played with. So what I usually do is I'll dra drag this clip up just a little bit because the clip that will be kind of the layover one will want to sit right here um, for you to be able to see it. So once you have your ultra key placed over your clip that you want, go up to the effects control over here and you can go down and the color key is what you want to be playing with at first. So what I usually do is I'll hit this little dropper here and whatever color or area that you want your uh, kind of layover to be in, uh, you want to kind of grab that color. So for this, I'm going to use um, this house that's right here. It's kind of a weird Easter yellow color. And then you can see that it kind of turns black like that. So you don't get all of this area. Um, as much so what you can do is go over to where settings is and You can go to aggressive and it'll give you a lot more to it. So it's kind of a little bit washed out over here um, So you can kind of play with these over in the matte generation and it will kind of give you a little bit more um, area to to work with um, but it does kind of distort your video a little bit more, so you kind of got to be um, a little careful with it because you can kind of make your video look um, very distorted. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to leave it at about right there. I like 60 on it. So once you have the black area toggled, um, you can go ahead and find yourself another clip which I have some other ones that I've played around with. Okay, so I have this little video that I screen recorded off my phone off of YouTube to just kind of play around with. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And it's not very, this little section of it's not very long. So if you need to stretch it out, um, you can always like kind of play it in slow motion if you want. It kind of gives it more of a, I think it gives it a little bit more of a trippy feel to it when you play stuff in slow motion, a little bit more dramatic. So you can turn your speed to 50. Let's see where we want to toggle it in at. Yeah, I think about where it is. I like where it's at. But you can see that there's this um, kind of black area that it's showing. So you can actually drag this up so you can see what you're doing. And it's obviously a different uh, frame size. Um, you can kind of 
drag it and make it a little bit bigger, which I'm going to put it like right there. And then you can drag it over and put it like that to not make it jump in like that so fast you can go over to your effects and do video transitions and go to dissolve cross dissolve and lay it on there and then it'll kind of just fade in like that that looks actually really cool <laughs> so i'm actually going to slow it down just a little bit more i just i kind of like it yeah and then I'm just going to drag it to the end of the timeline of that clip. And then when it fades in, it looks really cool. So we'll find another clip for this uh, next segment here. Okay, we're going to use this weird uh, flowery looking thing from this trippy video that I found as well. And then I'm going to make the speed on it also at 40 just to kind of give it a little bit more of a uh, more of a time duration. And then I forgot to put the ultra key over it. So again, with the ultra key, once you have it uh, placed over it, you can make sure you have the, uh, the video selected. It'll be white, outlined in white. And you can go back over to your contr uh, effects controls, grab your little dropper. And this time, um, I think I might play with the fence here, this white area. So I'm going to click that and then I'm going to make it go to aggressive again. And then you can see that it has the black area again. So I need to adjust the, the frame size of it. And I'll make it just like that. Drag it back under and then let's see how it looks here. Oh, that is... No, I don't think I do like that. I'm going to make it on the house again. If you don't like where it's at, you can go back over. Uh, make sure you select the video again that has the ultra keying on it. And then you can grab your little dropper. And I'm going to grab the house again. Yeah, I like that a lot better. So let's see how that looks now. That is super weird. <laughs> Whoa. So as you can see, you can sit and like play around with it and like kind of get ideas of what you want to, uh, you, you can make different transitions and stuff. My main thing that I recommend is if you're, whatever you're filming, um, whatever color that you're going to be uh, using to kind of uh, use as the, uh, the backdrop or the, uh, the ultra keen, uh, just make sure it's like a real good solid color. Like it doesn't have a bunch of other uh colors mixed in with it or um, doesn't have a bunch of different shades in with it like if you're filming something that is in the shade and then is also like in the sun or has like a tree casting shade on whatever color you're going to use it's going to have different tones of color so if you're going to use something that's green it's going to have something that if it has let's just say a shadow on it it's going to have dark shades of green medium shades of green and light color shades of green so it's going to have a hard time um, picking what um, area to use for that so you kind of want to plan ahead on what you're filming and all that if you want to make it look really really good so that's just like a fun little way to make your videos a lot more unique and kind of trippy looking if you uh, if you plan it out right so I'll play this little clip for you again and you can see what it looks like Like I said, you can sit and play around with it and kind of fine tune how it looks and stuff like that. And you want to try and get the, the colors to be just right. You can tell that with um, the kind of yellowy color that I use, there's a lot of other yellowy colors that are like that, uh, maybe kind of cream colors that are in the video that kind of uh, went with it. So that's why it kind of uh, was on the camera and like on the ground and stuff. It wasn't just on the house. So plan ahead and make sure that you um, have a very solid color of what you're gonna use. I'll play a little video of what I made a couple days ago and uh, you can kind of get an idea on what kind of videos you can make with this little tool for Ultra King. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I know I didn't do the best job at explaining this. I actually just barely figured out how this works. Um, I had a friend show me, so I'm still learning with it as well, but I'm actually, I've been wanting to figure out how you do this for a long time. 
and I finally figured it out and I'm just super excited about it and I just want to be able to show other people out there because I guarantee a lot of other people have a lot of questions about this as well. So I'll show you this little video. about fallout, what it is, how to detect it, and what to do to protect yourself against it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe because we talk about old school retro camcorders on a weekly basis. And on that note, we will see you in the next video. Have a good one.